you have common sense if you notice there's a world around you not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense that we're dealing with oh hello there hi Welcome in, everybody. It's season three, episode 13, coming at you hot, a day late, and a dollar short. It isn't my life in a story. I don't know what <laughs> is. Welcome in. I am Lop. This is my wonderful co host, Sky. Uh, we see you guys in the live chat. Much love to you all for being here. If you're listening to us anywhere else, driving down the road, look out, there's a bird. Uh, how have you been, Sky? This week has been a little hectic. We are, like I said, a day late, uh, <laughs> and that's my fault. I will take full blame. But I mean, it, I kind of wanted to watch NASCAR. Yeah, that's true. I've, so... I'm turn maybe NASCAR is your personality now. Maybe I've made that your personality. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe. You know, they're, they're trying to best. listen. They're trying to like they're trying to reach a new audience. NASCAR is. So. I, I've I've now have. Listen, I went from having just like Fox to now Fox and FS1 and now Fox FS1 and FS2. So like I got the whole package now because of racing. Yeah. Just so. more money to spend. <laughs> is all. Yay. <laughs> oh, don't you miss cable? But like. Not really cable, because cable you couldn't, you know, you couldn't like, watch things on demand. You had to just watch whatever was on whenever it came yeah. on. Who who made that schedule, by the way? <laughs> who was like, we're going to put this show on at this time, because I like to sit down and eat my cereal and watch this show at this time. <laughs> you know somebody did that. Like, they scheduled it around their own personal Home and just time. assume that everybody else was just like at the same time frame. I no, know. I just assumed they just probably didn't care. <laughs> at all. Like, at all. You gotta think, those big executives, they don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Not. They might. They might be very nice people. But yeah, we are, we're just a little bit late. Uh, one day, I can, I can deal with that every now and then. At least we didn't cancel. That's progress. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. I'm glad that we we came back to it. <laughs> so was there more to that sentence? <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Yeah, she's trying to give me more editing <laughs> in post. Than what she's trying to do. It's my favorite thing. To I do. was editing our last episode, and I realized so many times where we have these long pauses. <laughs> And I think it's just our brains. We we are very. We have to really think about what we're going to say sometimes, <laughs> and it's a struggle, especially for me because nobody wants me to have my fluid thoughts come out. I don't want your fluids coming out anywhere <laughs> on the podcast. I mean, some people might. I'm sure there's a huge crowd of people that would, but. I mean, it's not a family-friendly podcast, really, so go for it, I guess. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> Put a tarp down or something. <laughs> Put a little tiny raincoat on Squeak. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, you can't do anything with Squeak in the room. For those who don't know, Squeak is the mouse in her pocket. If you're here watching the live video feed of this you can uh or watching us on youtube you can you can see squeak is it squeak mcgee did we finally decide on a name yeah i think i like squeaks mcgee squeaks mcgee squeaks mcgee yeah i'm keeping my eye on him that's what i'm looking at for sure uh-huh nothing I'm else sure. at all but, nothing else at all but uh, yep mm-hmm <laughs> so, yeah, we're day late but we're here and I'm excited we got an awesome show going not going coming at you mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we you know i like i know you guys like it when things come at you <laughs> you're anything like sky but <laughs> yeah <laughs> no it's gonna be it's gonna be electric tonight we're gonna be 
pumped up for lack of better words shock not shocking well we might be shocking you never know what's going to come out of our mouths over here i actually completely forgot something that i i don't even know how i could even fucking forget this but there was something even better that happened this week that i could just <laughs> i feel like it was already weeks ago because i spent a whole fucking two days reading but not just pets we got the 501c3 you I completely did. Forgot. <laughs> You did. <laughs> Not just pets is uh, Skylo's. Well, well, we finally applied for it, I should say. We finally were right. able to apply for it. We raised enough money to be able to apply for it, which was awesome. Right. Uh, before I was rudely interrupted, I was saying <laughs> Not Just Pets is Sky's. Uh, I never know how to say it. It's just a charity, right? It's, it's... Yeah, it's just a nonprofit. I know. I don't charity. know what nonprofit means. <laughs> not for profit i don't make money off of it right but I, it's it's for pets <laughs> for, it's for animals and uh yeah you're officially once you get that you're going to be like official 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 super official so we're very super very proud of you official. as not so common sense we do sponsor uh not just pets all these not names are confusing after a while though <laughs> let me tell you not so not just yeah. <laughs> not it's, me not you it's uh <laughs> for somebody like me it's a little confusing but yeah we got an electric show tonight speaking of electric you are kind of a fan of static electricity <laughs> yeah i am how can you not be like it's so cool I, and i feel so bad i feel so bad because i have pets and i feel terrible for them it must shock them horribly like when they come and snuggle with me and then i go to lift the blanket up and then they go underneath and then they put the blanket down and i go to adjust and all you hear is like all the static electricity like and then you hear them like i'm like oh my gosh they're being zapped they think i'm zapping them <laughs> well yeah and they don't know that you're not no i feel so they look at me like really this is happening not to be the bearer of bad news to all you pet owners out there but if you like accidentally kick your cat or something they don't know it was an accident they think you just kicked them because you wanted to kick them why would you do that to them just throwing you, that out there to ruin people's bad day enough. you it's bad enough you do that to me i know well if i'm gonna make you suffer i'm gonna make everybody suffer <laughs> That's fair. At least I don't have to suffer alone. <laughs> Speaking of suffering, the electric, what's it called? Static electricity. Static electricity. I despise it. Really? I get shocked by everything. <laughs> I think I'm just so used to it. I'm so numb to it by now. I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, when I was a kid, I accidentally stuck my hand. I was trying to reach... Quote, that's unquote, a, hand. That's, a, that's always a great way to start a story. I accidentally <laughs> stuck my hand in. I, it was a dark room, and I was trying to turn on a lamp, and apparently oh, there wasn't no. a light bulb in the, in the thing. Oh. And I reached up and was feeling around, and I was a kid, so I was ah. stupid. I didn't know what, and I put my hand down in where the light bulb plugs ah. in, and it shocked the crap out of me, right? Like, oh. worst I've ever been shocked, I think. Well, ever since then... <laughs> <laughs> that explains so much about you. Ever since then, the energy <laughs> around me has shifted in a horrible, horrible way. <laughs> he stepped into the wrong wormhole. He done fucked up. <laughs> I'm not happy about it at all. Well, yeah, I get shocked by everything. And I can like, I be around nothing that has static electricity. Balloons, forget it. If you want me to do anything with balloons... <laughs> It's, it's not happening. You're, You're on your own. Walking around, balloons are just on you. <laughs> like, yep. You don't need to tie them to rope. You just need to just stand. There. Yeah, I'm like powder in the movie Powder. <laughs> 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 okay, I feel like I know that movie. Yeah, we've watched it. I don't remember watching. Yeah, it. you do. <laughs> I mean, I clearly don't remember He's, watching. Yeah, it. you do. He's the bald. <laughs> uh, Real skinny, super white, pale guy that was getting picked on. It was really nice, and I really liked him, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, I remember. And he had, like, these <laughs> static electricity powers. Yeah, that's from right. From where he got struck by lightning. 
I think that's me. I think that was a a movie made <laughs> about me. <laughs> Trying to warn me of my prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that checks out. That checks out. I feel like that's pretty solid. But that was a great movie. If you haven't seen Powder, everybody, check that. That's definitely a movie recommendation I have. Also, Sky and I can tell you, there's a show out that we would both recommend right now. Mm, yeah. And I think weekly I'm going to start recommending things to you guys. Just do like a <laughs> weekly recommendation show, movie. You should do it too, Sky. We should each do one. Do you guys like that? Like shows that we know or movies that we know that we like or that are good? We can recommend them because, you know, we have common sense. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that earlier today. I was like, if I was, I used to always think about being a critic, like a food critic, because I love food. But like, I always feel like I'm the type of critic to criticize things based off of it as a whole. Like, not by personal, like, if it was me, like, I wouldn't eat this. However, if somebody likes this kind of food, yada, like, I would still make it somewhat appeasable. Yeah. Because I feel like there's just, there's so many different opinions. And, like, it's just, I'm just giving my point of view based off of the things that I like. Can we take a second and talk about critics and how it is the biggest bullshit job I've ever heard of in my <laughs> entire life? Literally anybody can be a critic of anything <laughs> at any time. I know nothing <laughs> about rocket ships, but I can tell you, I think they're ugly. <laughs> I think they should paint them bright orange and pink and green and colors. Why do they, why do they have to be boring? That's a, that's a, that's a criticism right there. This this is it. You're going to be a rocket designer. I should. They should let me design rocket ship. Like the that would paint be So I'm going to have to hit up dope. my boy. I'm going to have to hit up my boy Lon Lon. Lon Lon, yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah. I think he would hook you up. Yeah, Elon and I, we're, we're, we're tight, and I'm going to have to tell him, <laughs> hey, let me design your rocket. Like the, let me paint the rocket. <laughs> and then he's going to be like, listen. It's not Thursday night. You can't do that. That was a sexual joke uh, <laughs> about Elon's rocket. Uh, no, they, he actually did. Uh, he actually did. Like, I think change the shape of one of his rockets to make it look more like a penis. Did he I think really? they did. I think they changed the tip of one of them. That's fucking fantastic. And. And it actually like made it less aerodynamic, but they didn't. He didn't care because it's Elon Musk. He doesn't care. <laughs> that is. Fantastic. I don't know a hundred percent that that's true, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's true. Uh, if not, I just completely made that up. <laughs> Either way, take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, critics. Let's get back to the critics because critics, food critics. That makes no sense to me. How can anybody be a food critic? I know. Everybody likes different foods. I know. I, it, it, I don't understand it. Make it make sense it. to me. If you have me go in and be a food critic for a sushi place, that place is getting shut down. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> But it's it's weird to me because people like live by those critics. Critics can actually make or break a place's career or business. Yeah. It could do some some like really fucked up shit to some people. I can't <clears throat> I can't I can't be like those people that go to like Yelp and just use Yelp reviews and just movie reviews on like rotten tomatoes and things like that mm -hmm. i i don't think there's ever been a movie made that cisco and ebert didn't give two thumbs up to by the way because that was on every movie that ever came out in the 90s you'd hear that oh my god yeah cisco and ebert oh give it two god. thumbs up i forgot about them yeah i'm Holy aging cow. myself a little bit it's not even i think they're both dead now because <laughs> then it went to like ebert and rupert i think and now it's like I don't know. I don't man. know who it is anymore. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think out there, you room readers? Do you think 
being a critic is an actual job? And if so, is there anything out there that doesn't have critics that I could apply to be a critic for? How do you even <laughs> become a critic? You just get online and just start bitching? <laughs> I guess so. How does one become a critic? So there are two different kinds. Because, like, I know, like, there's a bunch of them that I actually fell who are food critics and stuff. But they're more of, like, they go to a place and they talk about the food. And they, they, they give, like, their opinion as, like, chefs about, like, the food. But they don't, they've never, like, really disrespected a place, which is really dope. Those are the kinds of critics that I feel like, like, people should fucking follow more. I don't know. I I'm like just gonna them. make up. I'm gonna make some fake business cards and just start walking into places and hand it to them. And be like, I'm a big time food critic. <laughs> so they start comping my meals for free. I don't think that's how that works anymore. I think it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most places are gonna be like, "All right, let me follow you real quick. Where you at?" <laughs> I am Gordon Ramsay's cousin's dog walker, and. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, can confirm. <laughs> That's not true either. Everything I, I say to you guys <laughs> is a lie. You can't trust nobody anymore. No. Nobody. Trust absolutely nobody. You know absolutely you shouldn't nobody. trust ever Ooh. adults that do baby talk. Because I heard <laughs> that yesterday and I wanted to pull my hair out. If Ew. you're an adult, or if you're not even a, an adult, if you're, if you're able to speak proper sentences, <laughs> you should not be doing baby talk unless you're talking to a baby or, of course, an animal. <laughs> right? Yes. Honestly, yes. And I, I, I didn't even talk to my kid like that, like, ever. Right, like, I feel as, like you're like, just I, making I think, them dumber. I, I feel like, like, maybe with, like, the first month or so, I, I was, because, like, he was, like, tiny. Like, he was a little itty bitty thing. <laughs> like, but after that, like, I would literally look at him and have full-on conversations with this kid. And he'd just be like, ah? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good impression, actually. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> But that's literally, like, I don't think I, I don't know. I just, he's fucking smart as shit now, but like, he's only eight. Yeah, but I, I heard, I, I heard two adults in Walmart, grown man, grown woman, doing baby talk to each other. And I, I, I won, I, I had, I don't get embarrassed. You know that. I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> I cringed. No, you have no shame. I cringed. All the way through the rest of the store. <laughs> they were in the... Are you... Did you just spit water out of your nose or coffee? I heard that liquid over there. I told you. I was kidding about you spraying your liquids on the podcast. But I... I, I since just, Sky is I just, dead... I just had the visual of you just walking around in that cringe. Oh, yeah. Shoulders, shoulders up. <laughs> through the store. Yeah. Until you left. Here's the thing. <laughs> I didn't even see them until after it happened. I thought, <laughs> okay, maybe they have a kid. I tried to give them that. But I realized that they didn't when I cringed away because I could see them <laughs> after I went around the corner. And it, it was just a grown man and woman. No children, no pets in sight. <laughs> They were in the shampoo aisle. I don't know why they had to be talking in baby talk. <laughs> it's it's weird. And you know what baby talk I'm talking about. Like, I want to do it for you to to give you the example. But also, it, it cringes me out so bad that I, I don't think I can. <laughs> just, like, pretend you're talking to Jackson right now. I just can't. Something. I can't do it. it what about Squeak? You know, you know, you know, you know what a, everybody out there listening knows exactly what I'm talking about when I say baby talk. Pretend my tits when they stop are a baby. when they stop using their R's and they make them into W's, which I find offensive, by the way, because I couldn't say my R's when I was a little kid. Dude, you just put it together. Maybe that's why you don't like. Baby no, I don't talk. like it because it is cringe as shit. That's why I don't like it. It's horrible. 
It makes <laughs> it makes me just never want to go in public again. <laughs> but it's it's yeah, man. That you just I couldn't say my R's when I was a kid. That definitely could contribute to it. And yeah, they always came could. they always came out as W's. Uh, so, like, which, it was just something that just triggers your ear every time you hear like them saying "oh wee no. wee," and yeah, <laughs> that kind of stuff like "wheelie wee wee," that ki- that kind of baby talk stuff. Don't do that if you're an adult or anybody that can form a correct sentence <laughs> verbally. Once you're old enough to start speaking, that's when it ends. Well, okay, if you like it, just don't do it in public. You just, know what I'm gonna be? I'm gonna just, be. A common sense critic. There you go. That works. <laughs> I don't know where on the internet I can go to do this. <laughs> People of Walmart.com, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> that might be a good start, honestly. Have you ever been to that site? I tried to avoid it like the Black Plague. I think I've been on it like a few times and I was like, I can't. I like my faith in humanity just goes completely out the window. It's I bonkers. can't. I, I can't. It hurts my soul. There's people out there. They're, those are real people doing that I'm stuff. I'm aware. Living that, among us like they're one of us. <laughs> <laughs> like they're an actual human. Like they're one of us. <laughs> and it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> I know. They. It just doesn't make sense. But yeah, the. Sorry, back. To, I get distracted, guys. Back to the baby talk thing. Just don't do it. It's horrible, and I won't be your friend. So if you want to keep me away, and if, while we're at it, let's talk about adult birthdays, can we? It's my birthday month. Grow up. You're forty three. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like that's justified. <laughs> you it's, live this long. Let's it's my go. birthday month. <laughs> you think you get a whole month to celebrate your birthday? Nobody cares about it but you, for one. What about a week? Can we get a week? No, no. When you're an adult, <laughs> no. You get a day, and even then, you should still go to work. You should <laughs> still do your job. I think, yeah, if you want to have a little party and celebrate your birthday and all that, do all of that. I'm I all for having fun and enjoying making the most out of your birthday. But when I have to live your birthday for a month, no. Stop it. Because you're an adult. <laughs> Listen. This whole I'm episode that, this whole but... episode should just be titled Lop Hates Everything. <laughs> Lop, yuck and your yum one episode at a time <laughs> so yeah i don't know that's just something about people make such a huge deal over birthdays and i don't get it just one day you get it's your birthday one day and even then you didn't do anything special but like maybe they're just happy to be fucking alive. That's great. Like, Celebrate that be it. Special but, enough. Like yeah, that's that's I'm great. Gonna, I'm not gonna work on my birthday. Fuck that. Like if it's my birthday, You're an adult. I'm gonna do Your whatever birthday I want. isn't a holiday. For me, it is. And there's too Shit. many holidays, by the way. That's the only holiday that should exist. Is just your birthday for it's, yourself. It's not a day that other people that should affect other people's lives in any way, shape, or form. I don't give a flying fuck. It's my birthday. I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah, see, you're the problem. <laughs> Hi, it's Sky. She's the problem. It's her. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't get that, though. Like, I'm not, I'm the type that's like, yeah, I'll, like, do something to celebrate my birthday on my birthday. But other than that, even that I don't really do. I don't I really mean, do I generally much. don't. Like, you know me. Like, I've hated my birthday forever because something horrible always tends to happen on them. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, like, it's still, like, that one day that it's just like, all right, I made it a whole fucking another year of my life. Which, if I think about all of the bullshit I've gone through in the past year and all the good things, let's outweigh it all and move on from there. I feel like it's more of, like, a, a good day to take to yourself and just be able to reflect 
But that's like me. I don't celebrate birthdays in the same way that most people do. The only thing I do do is you have do, to do. have a fucking cake. Sh- shut up. You have to have a fucking cake. I don't yeah, care I know. You what always kind of cake it is. Cake. You I have didn't. to have a fucking cake. I don't think I did this year. No, but you got one. Did I? Yeah. Mm. It was yeah, just a late no, I did. It was cake. late. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> we all know you? how great my memory is. <laughs> But, but that's what I feel like with birthdays, though. Like, I kind of feel like it's just one of those. But you just didn't do I don't, anything. I don't. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I don't think, like, it's it's something that, like, you should, you should or have to. But, like, if you want to, like. No, I'm all hell. for, like, Go if for you it. want to. I'm just saying it shouldn't affect other people's day. Nah. The only effect it should have is if you're inviting them to something. <laughs> that's the only effect <laughs> it should have. Hey, after work. Because I'm at work today, on my birthday, like an adult. Or, you know, you could just take the day off and say, hey, somebody take my shift because it's my fucking birthday. Why not? But why? Why not get the day to sleep in a little bit longer? Because we already have 436 holidays a year. I'm, I'm saying, like, if you're somebody who doesn't celebrate any of those other holidays... Doesn't Why matter. That... You already get them off anyway. <laughs> it does matter. It doesn't. It does. We will have to agree to disagree. <laughs> Room readers out there, let us know who you agree with and who you don't. Get in our Facebook group, by the way. We'd like to invite you all to that. We finally got it up and running our Facebook page. It's. Uh, do we know the exact name of it? <laughs> you can find the links wherever you're listening to us or watching us. You can find the links to all of our stuff. But we're great. We're yeah, great at this. It should just be not so common sense on Facebook. And if you can get in there, let us know in the comments or shoot us DMs, whatever it may be. We want to hear from you guys and give us some of your thoughts on the topics we talk about because feedback is always important. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, you can't have mm-hmm. common sense without it, I don't think. Right? You, you got to have... It's got to be a collective. It's got to be a common. And it doesn't have to be bad feedback or good feedback. It can just be feedback. Like, hey, you're ugly, Bob. <laughs> you know? Hey, you're both idiots. <laughs> right. Hey, you're both wrong. And you should shut down your podcast. That's fine. <laughs> you can say that. We're never going to. But <laughs> you're more than welcome to tell us to. <laughs> you'll yeah. say I love you too. Goodbye. Bye bye. And bye. Uh, as our live chat is saying, "Lot bitches too much." Thank you, Danny Lynn. Uh, we <laughs> we uh, we appreciate your feedback. We hear your feedback, and we reject your feedback. <laughs> so there's all of that. What is this we? Oh, thing? I speak for both of us. <laughs> oh, okay. In case you okay. weren't aware of that. I but wasn't. Back to the critics, by the way. <laughs> if anybody could be a critic, I feel like it could be me because I hate, I do hate like most things, I think, because of the common sense aspect. It feels like the common sense is missing in most general things. And Sky always, you always tell me you're like, you expect too much of people. You tell me you're like, you're expecting people to have common sense. Yeah! It's, no. it's called common sense for a reason. Yes and no. So common sense, it still has to be something that's taught. It's still something that had to have been shown to be common. That's not true. But it is. No. How many things in your life are, do you know about because of common sense that nobody ever taught you about? A lot. There's a lot of things. There's, like, everything you do is an experience, so you're learning throughout the experience. If someone holds a door you. for you, you say thank you. You know, that kind of stuff. That's all, like, natural instincts. We're humans. We have natural instincts. We're just, like animals <laughs> and animals have a whole bunch of different things that they do that's why they have 
like a deer in the headlights, flight or fight mode. Like what, like there's all these different things because it's still unpredictable. It's still something that is shown. It's genetically shown. I don't know. And if know. people aren't showing somebody these things, then some people just don't want to learn. Some people just fight by sheer embarrassment well, because they feel like when they ask something as simple, they get ridiculed or something. And they're just like, oh, well, I guess I should have known that. But I, then that it kind of creates this little cycle. And it goes down and down a little rabbit hole. But nobody showed me to keep my cart out of the middle, the middle of the aisle at the grocery store. <laughs> that was just instinct. Don't leave your cart right there in the middle of the aisle. It's common sense. I kind of feel like you probably seen your parents do it. No. No. <laughs> it's just one of those things that anybody should know. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you were programmed from your parents. <laughs> I don't know about it. Let us know, chat. <laughs> If I should lower my expectations of people and the public. You really public. should. You really should. It'll make your life so much easier. At Will least. it? Because then you could be like, aw, it's stupid. No. <laughs> Just move on. I'm trying to move on. I'm still stuck on the critics. You know who else sucks? Music what? snobs. For real. There might as well be critics, right? They think they're critics. Music snobs, they just, you don't know this band, you don't know this person, no, I'm sorry, you know, I don't. What bothers me the most about that is because I'm a person who genuinely loves music, like I love all music, people who know me knows, knows that I know music, however, I don't know names and bands and lyrics or anything else yeah sometimes. you don't you definitely don't I know lyrics don't know a lot of other shit but i know the music i know how it makes it feel and i know like the songs and like i i know all of that right and i can't stand when someone's just like oh i thought this was a band that you listened to or i thought you liked this you should have known that this was this album and this was that person and this this person was replaced by that band i'm like i don't care is the song good yes and you could tell me fucking Fru Fru Dragon sang that. I don't fucking know. I don't care. <laughs> Just right. Let me listen to the music. I know a lot of songs. It. I know a lot of songs. I don't know the title of them or who sings them. My whole life has been like that. I've heard mm -hmm. songs my whole life that I know almost every word to. Couldn't tell you who sings them. <laughs> Couldn't tell you the title of it. Nothing. But it's kind of like what we talked about, was it last week, where we talked about the the people that are just kind of stuck up about their own hobby and yeah. kind of gatekeep it a little bit? Yeah. Which you had a discussion with, uh, I don't want to say a fan, but somebody that was that follows us <laughs> apparently on YouTube over, over that. And they were yeah. disagreeing that they said you shouldn't... Dilute. Yeah, you shouldn't, shouldn't dilute your dilute hobby by sharing hobby. it with other people. And see, but that's, that's, and that goes back to like my whole, the question that I asked him. One of the questions I asked in, in return was, how did you find out about your hobby? You clearly saw it somewhere. You like, or if you made it up, awesome. Like, what the fuck is it? Cause that's now concerning. <laughs> well, it's just a, it's just no, no. You're right. They didn't make it up. If they have a hobby, they saw it somewhere. Most like, likely, ninety nine percent of the time, they saw it somewhere. And that, like that, that just it just bewilders me because I'm like, if it's something that you enjoy that much that you saw somewhere or somebody taught to you, you obviously had gotten it from some. Like you can't say that now. That's terrible because his their stance was, um, that. Doing that was literally one of the, the worst things you could possibly do is by sharing your hobby for other people and it'll be diluted. And I, how could that literally be the worst thing? Because then you're saying that your favorite thing is literally the worst thing by what you're saying. Yeah. Because you got it from somebody else. Therefore, you were it was shared to you. So you are literally the worst thing ever. Yeah. You're the worst. You're stopping. <laughs> you're stopping happiness. It's you were like, the killer of happiness. It was a circle of like my brain just exploded. Like when I when I read that statement, he, I was like, I have to, I have to respond to this, right? Because my brain is not going to be able to <laughs> process this. Like, 
yeah. please and they never responded so i'm really sad because i need the answer i need to know where does the cycle end <laughs> it doesn't it's just a vicious cycle and then you die welcome around to life. And around and around we go <laughs> but i just yeah i don't know i like it though i listen i like whether they agree with us or not i like that that they're on there commentating giving their opinion even if it's wrong yeah uh, <laughs> we want you guys to give your opinions on all of our social media give your feedback give tell us your stories tell us everything i i did put a question out this week i'm not sure if i got any responses on it yet but uh I want to know if anybody's just absolutely horrible first date stories. Just have you ever had one of those, Sky? Just a uh, just a a first date that you're just like, oh, that's Man. that was not whether it was embarrassing or just bad or something insane happened. I want to hear about everybody's stories. I didn't know I'm if you had one of those or not, since you're kind of a whore. I was going to um, say, honestly, no, I'm not even, <laughs> all jokes aside, <laughs> all jokes aside, I was literally going to say, like, they were either, like, the guys I dated were either, like, guys who I already was friends with, and then we, like, hooked up, and it was just like, mm, that didn't work, and then we never talked again, or, like, guys I just hooked up with. I don't think I've ever, I've, I don't think I've ever really, I've never been on a date. I've never been on, like, an actual date. Wow. I had a blind date once, but it was, like, not, you know, Kind of. I met this one guy like for I think we met on like OK Cupid or something, and I met him at a restaurant. But I don't really count it because it was just so weird. Well, that would count though. That's the whole point. Is what's a weird experience on a first date? I guess, but it wasn't. It wasn't like it was just weird. It was just more of like a. We were just two people eating yeah. at the place. Like there was like zero communication, zero. We were like mannequins on a date. Like, it was weird. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just so bizarre. And I think after that, I was like, that was my first and last time I ever went, like, on an actual date. I was just like, I'm, I'm good. I'm all right. <laughs> I don't think I ever want to be in an awkward situation like that ever again. Well, it's cool. all. It's, first dates are awkward for everybody involved. They're so bad. They're just... Because you just don't know. It's 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 an interview. <laughs> it's what it is. And everybody hates <laughs> interviews. And nobody feels like Literally. they're being themselves on a first date. It's just... Unless you're like a person like me who just has zero shame and you'll just be yourself. <laughs> because you just don't care. Just don't care. <laughs> but it's most nice. people, I feel like, put on a... They try to put their best foot forward. Yeah. This guy didn't even put any put like foot forward. There was nothing. There was zero. Zip. There was just. Well, what did you put forward? Everything. Oh, well. I was just like, dude. It's the I was horror just comment. Like, yeah, I was just like, bam, the boobs are out in his face. I'm like talking about sports. I'm like ordering like a beer. I was just like really out there. <laughs> I was just like <laughs> trying to engage with this dude. Like, what do you like? What's your favorite fucking color? Do you like dogs? <laughs> What's your name? Are you, you know? here with me? <laughs> Do you know what day it is? <laughs> you, who dropped you off? Should I call your caretaker? <laughs> who, who <did> <laughs> It was like, I'm like, I don't know what else to do. I was Maybe like, an I ambulance. <laughs> I think you might be having a stroke. I think, honestly, I probably just intimidated him. He seemed like he was just like, I don't know, terrified or something. Like, he was just so scared. Now, what do you think the line thing. is between like, say, say you're out on a date with a guy and he mm -hmm. finds you attractive. Not even necessarily on a date, but say you just meet somebody at like an event mm -hmm. or something. What do you think the line is between a man admiring a woman's looks and objectifying her? Because to me, there's a big gray area. Um, I'm going to make it really fucking simple for every human on the planet. Um... Women, as much as we love getting compliments, 
we also generally love only getting compliments, especially at a certain age or maturity level, I should say. We generally love only getting compliments from the ones we want the compliments from. Right. If you don't fall in that category, then it's ew. If you fall in that category, then it's ew. So it's 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 such it's it's just one of those hit or misses. It's and it's the same the other way around. It's it's the same. Like approaching a dude. Yeah, but we're either dudes gonna don't get... ever bitch about getting objectified, I don't feel like. No, no, they don't. We'll take any compliment we can get. We'll we'll hold on to a Oh, your hair looks nice today for three years. I know. I know. And it's so sad. You will hold on to it, that. It makes me so sad sometimes. I always hope, like, I say that to my kid all the time. I'm like, you look handsome today. I will always try to give him a compliment because I always feel bad. I'm like, guys don't ever get compliments. Like, but then some guys are just really weird about it when you do that too. I guess. Like, oh my God, she's talking to me. Oh my God, she likes me. Oh my God, she really loves me. Especially when I used to be a waitress. And I just, I would flirt with everybody. I don't give a fuck. Whoever was at my table, you're all getting flirted. Well, yeah, you're you're flirting for tips at that point. (laughs) Exactly. So like, but like some people would take it to that like, oh, your hair looks really good today. You got a haircut today. You don't say like, and it would just be like, oh, she she noticed. Oh my gosh. I'm just making conversation, dude. Like, I'm just trying to be nice. Can we just... (laughs) Move it yeah. along, please. <laughs> I just don't understand. I want to know from you guys, where do you think the line is? Because it's it's basically just take a chance and hope that you're they're into you. I, I, That's it's it's so I know, and it's so bad, but I mean I feel like a lot of the times too, it all comes down to the approach. And I feel like that's where where the line is where you can go up to somebody for me at least i i I wish that people would do this more with me when they when they would approach me and compliment me was say something like you know without no no disrespect or just like i'm like just say that it's a compliment like may i please compliment you or something along those lines but i've always had like just guys come up to me and be like hey yo ma let me get no cat calling is a different i'm not talking about cat calling cat calling is they, they like walk up to me licking their lips as if I was just yeah like, that's I'd basically like, catcalling that's yeah, yeah know, I'm not talking like, about that that's the kind of shit that I mean like there's there's like a fine line with how you approach the the way that you say something to somebody okay and it goes both ways but uh, me for example I don't consider myself like oh my god he's coming towards us ugly uh, <laughs> and you know. <laughs> I, I went up to a lady one time and I said hi and she literally responded with ew. She's just an immature little and, cunt is all. Well, but. but how are you supposed to know that? I know, but that's like, like I said, that goes, it goes both ways. It's not, for me, it's just not worth it. It's like, I'm not, it, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I know. So what do you do? You just don't. <laughs> I, you I just haven't. Don't. I haven't for a while. You just I just don't. I gave it up. I was like, nope. I will just objectify my food. <laughs> mm, let you me know, see that big piece of turkey with the Twinkies. Mm. You know, <laughs> <laughs> pour some gravy on some bitch. <laughs> you and your liquids tonight. I tell you, I don't know what's going on, but. <laughs> That's that's the title of tonight's episode, Skylar's Liquids. Skylar's Liquids. <laughs> uh, you know what I noticed the other day? I thought that I had. What? Since we're talking about this whole dating thing and stuff. I don't think there's a male word for mistress. <laughs> I thought there was. Hold up. I'm pretty fucking sure there is not like a common a one that people use. Because if you're uh, talking about a man having a woman on the side, it's his mistress. Yeah. If you're talking about a woman having a man on the side, it's not her mister. No. Okay. So I know lover is one that's uh, yeah, but paramour. that that could be either or. Paramour is is the equivalent, apparently. I've never once in my life heard that. I know. Me neither. That's what but I'm saying. I knew there there's, was not, a word. there's not a, like a common saying. We need. We should come up with one here. At not so common sense. <laughs> I don't know what it could be, but isn't that weird? 
That is weird. I mean, it kind of just goes to show you. Either, uh, hang on, you hang know. on. I'm going to stop you before you join the crowd of people that I was going to insult uh, real quick. <laughs> uh, and I just want to put this out there before anybody's like, well, it just shows you who cheats more. No, I was just going to say it just shows you who knows how to not get fucking caught. <laughs> that, that was going to be my counter argument to shows you who cheats more. It's like, no, it shows you who's more conniving and shady is what it does. It shows you who's more sneaky. <laughs> it just shows you who's smarter. Like, that's it. Like, we're just yeah. smarter, you dumbasses. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is, honestly. The <laughs> men are stupid. I mean, women are stupid in their own way, don't get me wrong, but men are really stupid sometimes. I just, it, it had occurred to me, though, because I'd made a post saying something about, I was going to say, like, a mistress, and then I was going to say, or, and then there was no word for, like, <laughs> a woman's mistress. And, unless it's a mistress, you know, they could be into women, but even then, it's, I don't think that that's how that's used. I just, I feel like a lot of people, like I said, I feel like lover was usually, at least growing up, like that's, that's what I remember hearing. That could yeah, go but both not, ways. That's his lover. It could, but like at the same Side time, it was piece, just more. Maybe? No, it was just more common for like a, 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 like a female to have like a lover and a, a male to have a mistress. I don't know about it. It's just weird to me, one of those things, because you ever do that, you know, like when you're spelling a word out and you write it down and you know it's right, <laughs> you know it's right, but yeah. it just looks weird, or you just say a word over and over so many times and it starts to sound like it's just not even a word. Yeah. I do it all the time, and it drives me crazy, because I just erase it and just use a completely different fucking word. I know. <laughs> It. I don't want to. I don't want to. I have to use spell check on everything. <laughs> a, a word like money. <laughs> like that was. You know look what it right. was for me. You know what it was for me recently is maintenance. Mm. For whatever now reason. Those, th no, those are tricky words. The ENSES <laughs> and the AIs and the IEs. Anything with IE, I'm struggling with a little bit. <laughs> but you know me. Like, I break down the words. So I was like, main 10 ants. Like, all right, cool. Main 10 ants. Like, <laughs> that's how I see it in my brain now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to how I learned to spell. Explains <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> but if any of you out there can come up with a good name for a female's mistress female's version of a mistress can we just call them all milkmen the hell is a milkman like a milkman well they're just milkmen. oh because like lonely it's housewives the cheat on the yeah it's usually with the milkman. milkman yeah because we're living in 1943 you fucking might as well be with the way people fucking think it is like i don't know <laughs> what <laughs> People think that we're still living in the fucking Stone Ages sometimes. So we might as well. I don't know how they think that, but if you say so. <laughs> they do. Uh, you might step away from the cannabis. <laughs> just a little bit. And it's the coffee. All the, that you shot out of your nose earlier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seeped into my brain. <laughs> I just found out recently, Sky, that I'm getting a Chipotle. <gasps> Aw, what are you going to name it? I don't know, but I can't wait. I'm, my plan is to be the very first customer. <laughs> I got to figure out exactly when they're going to open, but we are getting a Chipotle, and I've never been more excited and scared at the same time. <laughs> I think this is going to be the best thing that could have ever happened to you, honestly. I don't, not to my wallet, though. I just, it's fine. It'll live. It'll, it'll survive. Everything's fine. This is fine. We're going to have to make this podcast take off quick so I can afford my Chipotle habit. <laughs> There's not many restaurants that I'm like, oh my God, I got to have it. Chipotle is one of them. Although in the last several years, they've changed something about their recipes or something, or they just don't. They don't give you the right amount. There's a guy. Sorry. There's a guy 
that a train of thought here on TikTok <laughs> is like <laughs> legit getting like legal action, I think, against Chipotle to make them start using measuring cups when they like scoop your meat and put it on the burrito or in the bowl because people were using, they're using those big spoons and people aren't like getting the amount that they should be getting. Mm. And you get a different amount every time based on who's scooping it. And if you have just a, if you have just a, a measuring cup and you just fill it to the top exactly the same every time, People, yep. are, they, they're going to get what they know that they're getting. That's what Starbucks does Start with all the drinks. Like, everything is measured. Even the cups. The cups have the measurements on it. So, like, you know what you're getting. You know what's in the cup. You know what's there. Because I will, I will go and say, yeah, I'll take a burrito with chicken and rice. And I'll wait for them to put the scoop of chicken on before I'm like, do I want extra chicken or not? Let me see how much they give me. <laughs> yeah. And, I'm going to give you less. You're like, oh, and, okay. And this, isn't, chicken, this isn't a jab towards anybody. It's just because they probably eat less. But like when I would get like a really small person, like a young girl or something that was just real tiny, that probably doesn't eat a lot, she would never give me like a full scoop. She would put like four little pieces of chicken on there. And I'm like, listen, I know to you that might be a meal. <laughs> To but me, this whole burrito is even an appetizer <laughs> yeah. that you just made. This is enough food to make me hungry. <laughs> this is just for the drive home. Yeah. <laughs> so I can go eat a meal. This is enough to get me through to my meal. <laughs> but yeah, I I think, I hope the guy like is actually trying to like, get that done. I need to look into that because that would be, I think all restaurants should have that. I mean, there's this place. Okay, so in Colorado, there was this one place that was right by where I live called, like, the, uh, it was, like, the dollar scoop or something. Like, every scoop was literally a dollar, and every scoop was a cup, and it was a giant, like, like, scooping cup. Like, it had the measurement of a cup, so it, they would scoop it, they would flatten it, and they would put it in your bowl. Like, that was it, and each scoop was a dollar. Measured. Like, you knew what you were getting. Mm -hmm. Like, so... I don't see why that would be a problem. Well, because they make money off of ripping people off. That is <laughs> That's also why. true. That is also true. But I think if you're paying the same amount every time, you should get the same amount of food every time. Yeah. Right? Consistency. Again, I'm always a fan of consistency, man. It's the one thing that people... Ugh. Consistency is key. Because I'm, if I get up to pay for my burrito and I'm like, oh, here's half of the change because you guys only gave me half of the meat that I paid for. Yeah, it would be a whole thing. You wouldn't accept it. Yeah. So be why a should I thing. have to accept the sloppy four pieces of chicken burrito that you gave me? I think more and more people are starting to, to really stand up to these places. Because look at what happened with the uh, the egg McMuffin with McDonald's. Did you see that? I did. Where the guy was just he. It was like thirteen dollars for one sandwich, or Jeez. some shit. Like it, yeah, just that the egg McMuffin. And he it it was a whole thing. And even like the CEO like came down and like he was talking about everything. Like they were like this this we're gonna do better. Like because it was insane. There was no way that that man should have paid that much for a sandwich. Yeah. It's, it makes zero sense. No, I, I, uh, I rarely eat out fast food anymore because it's, everything is so expensive. And then it, they it want a tip, as we talked cheap. about last week. <laughs> it used to be the cheap option. And now it's like... what? <laughs> now there's, there is no cheap option. No, now it's just how lazy do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> either or now. I think you can either go grocery shopping and just get peanut butter and jelly and live off of that your whole life. Or... <laughs> You can go broke trying to get food either at a grocery store or at a restaurant. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. But like I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday and the person in front of me was buying a bunch of just loaves of bread so that she could just freeze it. And then every once in a while, like take some out for like toast for like that week or something. And just literally her cart was filled with bread. And I'm like, it, it, has it come to that? To that? That's what you have to do. I almost Go took a to picture and posted like, it on social media last week. I went to Walmart and got 
All I filled up, all I filled up was the basket, the seat part of the cart. Right? Mm hmm. 80 some dollars worth of food. The fuck did you get? Just things like lunch meats and, and stuff like that. It's, Bread. It's insane. It's insane. Like nothing extravagant. I got nothing extravagant. It's insane. I just. The prices of things is just ridiculous, man. It's scary. It's got to give at some point because that's just unreal. I also just realized I never did tell the name of the show that I was going to recommend earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I never did. I never did say it. I just. Oh, yeah, I recommend this show. But by the way, have you heard of. Whatever the hell we talk about on this show. Uh, no, the show is called Louder Milk. And it is awesome. That's it. It's, yeah, it's honestly a really, really, really good show. And who's um, the comedian that's in it that I, we really like? Uh, Brian Regan, I think. Yeah, Brian Regan is in it. A fucking phenomenal actor. My God. I know. I Incredible. Uh, Props to him because I would have never guessed that he was. He's a great comedian. I love his stand-up comedy. Yeah, but his same. acting chops were. They were top tier. Yeah. And I think I would love to start seeing him in some big movies and stuff because he was incredible. Yeah. So shout out to Brian Regan. I I hope I'm saying your name right. <laughs> you are. I'm horrible with names, but also I don't like I don't like sad Brian Regan. Yeah, he he does it really well though. He he plays it he he's very believable. I don't like it. So but stop it. Check out Louder Milk though. It's a it sounds like a weird show, like name for a show. Louder Milk is just the main character's name, so uh it really doesn't have anything to do with the show. Uh but it's it's good. It's a kind of a dark comedy, right? Is that what you classify it? Yeah, kind of and a dark it, comedy. It, it, kind of has a lot of our vibes as far as like common sense goes it kind of makes you think right a lot of different ways which is funny because it, it shows a lot of the the two sides of the coin mm -hmm. so to say to give people different perspectives and i think that's really important and i feel like that needs to be shown a lot more in shows and movies and a whole bunch of different things honestly yeah. to show that yeah there's there's it's not all just black and white there's a lot of everything everywhere yep well, everybody, guy, that's our show. That hour flies by, doesn't it? It really does. Oh, my goodness. I feel like we're just getting started. But oh, man. we appreciate everybody that's been here in the live chat with us. Much love to you guys. Also to the people listening to us later on or listening to us on whatever station you're listening we're on all major <laughs> podcast stations if you do happen to be listening to us on apple Podcasts, be sure to leave us uh, a review it really helps us out a lot when you do that so that uh, if you can get on over there to apple Podcasts, not so common sense channel and leave us a <clears throat> five-star review <laughs> It would greatly mean appreciate it to us next week we're gonna have another banger show coming at you we i think we will actually it's been a year and a half but we'll finally get to conspiracies so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, hope mm -hmm. you guys are looking forward to that and is there anything i'm missing just go follow all of our social media and thank you all for the continued support you guys are incredible we will see you next monday at 7 p.m guy yeah yeah Not forgetting yeah, a yeah. single thing um no also i just want to give a huge shout out to good pods uh we've been working with them we've got a badge now from them from you guys being so awesome and downloading us and getting us up there in the top standings on a lot of different categories which yeah. is awesome so yep. we appreciate you guys we appreciate them um if you're listening on good pods cool <laughs> you're awesome you rock Mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks it's mind-blowing to me that, that that even happened yeah i know so Fucking yeah dope. big shout out to good pods definitely check them out and guys we'll be back next monday until mm -hmm. then one thing to always remember read the, read the room, room.